Dawa is a platform that invests in BIPOC, community, and culture. We believe in a world where diversity is a source of strength, awareness normalizes challenging the status quo, wellness is a collective journey, and action means equitable investment of time and resources to historically underrepresented populations. You know, when I moved to Austin, the saying was, keep Austin weird. But there's nothing weird about displacing an entire community of people. My dad's born in 1959. He was in the house since he was four years old. The house is no longer in the family. We don't own it anymore. I've seen a lot of our historical landmarks and our black history here in the city be altered. St. John's was a predominantly black community at one point. It's a really scary thing, you know, because for a person who is born and raised here, it kind of lives like you're being stripped of who you are. They were already starting to plan to tear down even like the hospital I was born in. You know, this isn't the same city that we moved to 14 years ago. It's really taking a toll on a lot of folks here in town. As much as this city is super welcoming, I do think that there's just a lot of people that go under the radar and like their needs go under the radar or they can't find the space. And I think that Dawa works really hard to create that space for that group of people. The acronym is Diversity, Awareness, and Wellness in Action. I chose Dawa to have that foundation of healing from the very inception of it. It's like a prayer. Dawa is medicine. It's a Swahili word that means medicine. So Dawa has four areas of focus. They have the Dawa Fund, raising money, giving cash in hand to those in need. You don't know when your next check is coming, so it was super helpful in like easing my mind and like helping me to not stress during that time. Feeling supported, still feeling purposeful, and just having that as a resource and support to lean on made a crucial difference for me. I was working for a commercial investment firm with their maintenance division, and I was just was kind of fed up with the way I was being treated and that kind of came to a head one day when my boss made a significant remark and this was around the George Floyd and a lot of Black Lives Matter acts. When he called me and he said that someone had had a bag of mulch and had put their foot on the mulch and said, what does this look like to you? Um, that kind of shook me up and I actually had my first anxiety attack that day. He was just like, Mom, I can't do this. It's not safe. I'm scared. I'm like freaking out. I can't move. And she's like, well, breathe. I was like, I can't. And I was just like, then it's just time to go. That's what really was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And then the next thing he told me was just like, I just got a grant from Dawa. Just the next thing you know, he's self-employed, a Black-owned business owner. It really felt like somebody saw me and was like, you need this. I want to help you. I want to see you grow. And that's exactly what it was, and that's exactly what it did. Dollar Studios is a content creation studio for the BIPOC community. That was about that action. It's not just random letters. There's no separation to me between art and community. Like, art is one of the most powerful tools to build community and bring people together. And that's something that I've always kind of known innately, but also something I've explored and grown in terms of my ability to do that. There's a lot of people who say that we're going to be doing X, Y, and Z, and it always happens like that, but then there's also a population of people who actually do the work. In partnership with South by Southwest, Vision 8291 focuses on centering and elevating the work of visionary BIPOC artists and leaders with the intention of annually raising funds to directly support the work of Austin BIPOC-led grassroots organizations. And the Black Live Music Fund creates artist education and economic initiatives to help recipients build sustainable music careers. Dawa is out in the community providing something that's so positive and it has healing mechanisms to it. We have organizations like Dawa that fight against the grain, even on a level where Chaka's, you know, downtown at City Hall, you know, raising his voice in there and advocating for us. You need the people that, that do that. 
After working with Dawa, I had a true shift in my belief system in the way that nonprofits can be used for truly accomplishing and staying to what the mission, vision, and goal is that is set out. What it looks like right now is that we distributed almost $300,000 to the community in five years, including $32,000 during a winter storm. When he seen that we can, I was actually out there putting our lives at risk, and Dawa called and um, asked what they could do to assist and gave us a donation, which helped us buy most of the resources actually that we gave away. The work that the social worker does, the work that the teacher does, the work that healthcare providers, those that work, take care of our elderly, their work is so essential. So when we support that specific group, we are supporting an entire community. It feels good to know that there are people who are willing to invest and those of us who are out in the community trying to make a difference. They invest in us all the time. It's time for us to return the favor. I mean, this is what makes Austin weird. This is what makes Austin great. Leaders like Shaka that really want to build a community and it starts at that grassroots level. When I think of Dawa being here for a long time and evolving, I think of more healing, more medicine, and more opportunities and resources for black and brown people within the city. Dawa means building the capacity of givers to give. The future for Dawa is making giving to the givers a national movement. I've put my time, my sweat, my energy into this place that I love, and I have to make sure that myself as a giver, the generations that come underneath me know that they have a place here. So if you are someone that has been moved by uh, a teacher, if you are someone that has been moved by works of art that you see, if you're somebody that's moved by live music and things of that nature, it's going to go away if you don't invest in it. And so when you invest in someone like me and you invest in Dawa, you are empowering thousands and thousands of people to be whole, to be themselves, to follow their passion as educators, to follow their passion as caretakers. When you invest in Dawa, you're investing in them, in that community, in their work.